good. Welcome back. We're cooking in the kitchen with the machine shed today. That's right. There's nothing more perfect on a cold day than a bowl of hot cheesy soup. So today we've Isn't got a true? French onion soup recipe that's going to warm you up from the inside and out. That gooey cheese right mm -hmm. on top. Kurt mm. Wagner's here from the machine shed with the scoop on this soup and how you can make it at home. Delicious. I mean, it just smells fantastic. Oh, it's one of my favorites, Kurt. Yeah. So is this a hard soup to make? Because I think people who've seen it in the little mini crock pots mm -hmm. or whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. it just looks complicated. It really isn't. As a matter of fact, I'm going to kind of show you a shortcut as I'm doing this today, you know, just to do it quicker uh, to be on the air so you can do this at home just as I'm going to do it here. Okay. The recipe is actually made to do it in a brazier so you do it all in one pot. If you're not afraid of a couple extra dishes, this is a little bit faster. Okay. okay. Um, so what I've done is I've already put the butter in the, in the pan and I've started sauteing the onions and they are starting to get translucent and soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got that going. So it's just butter and onion. Just butter and onion is all that's in there right now. Now we're going to add some sugar and you can use uh, white sugar, you can use brown oh, sugar. sugar. huh? Yep. To and kind of caramelize that's them? That's exactly right. Okay. okay. You actually spent some time in the kitchen, haven't you? <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of short somebody this Saturday. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, so we're going to put that in here, and we're going to stir it up that. a little bit. No. <laughs> oh, a little either. bit. A little bit of practice. A little bit of practice, you'll be able to do that. And we've got some beef base. We're going to put this in here. Okay. And you can use that. There's dry bases. You can you know, add some water to it, and you can make it into a little bit of a broth. But you want it kind of thick. Okay. You don't want to add too much water at that stage. I'm going to put that back. Would this is that this a similar effect of like a bouillon, but just a different? It is. This is going to be medium? a little stronger at this point because okay. this is. Uh, um, straight, uh, straight beef base. If you dilute, uh, use a bouillon cube and dilute, uh, dilute it out, uh, it's going to be more like a beef broth. Okay. And you're going to have a little bit too much liquid in that. Okay. okay. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could. You'd have to reduce the amount of water that you actually put in this other pan that I have going over here. Okay. Um, now we're going to let that cook a little bit. And while that's cooking, we're going to add our wine. And I actually cheated and put some in here so it will be hot and we can get this going on All quicker. Right. Uh, and I drank a little bit too, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you know, uh, and we're going to put some of this in here and that will cool it down a little bit. And that's just a red wine. And this is just a red wine. This is actually Merlot, uh, okay, okay. which is what I prefer to use. All right. Uh, and then we're also going to And what did you, did, is it just wine in there or is it wine and water? There, there's water in there and then and the wine is all I added okay. to it. And now we're going to add a little bit of demi glaze to it, which is What's another beef, uh, it's another beef based product. Uh, okay. It's actually made from cooking down uh, beef bones. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to draw out beef the, bones. Yes, oh, bones. Okay. It's, it's going to actually draw out a lot of the, of, of the juice and the things that are inside of the mm -hmm. bones. It's going to help thicken it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's going to give it an excellent, rich flavor, and that's really what that adds to it. It's mm. just kind of smell kinda, it now. Kind of deepens the flavor a little bit. Mm. And we've got that in there. Okay. okay. And now this is pretty much ready to go. I can I promise smell I won't, it. I will not throw it on you. I promise. <laughs> and then that's we're just going to take this and we're going to pour this right in here. Oh, wow. Okay. And okay. Now, normally you'd be doing this in, like I said, a brazier, which is a, like a much heavier, bigger pan. You would actually pour the water and the other ingredients into it. Uh, this was just to speed it up, and that's okay. why I was saying I was going to show you a little trick uh, in order to get it done a little quicker. Mm -hmm. now, that, now that can sit, and that, that's just all you have to do. We're, you know, we're, we're pretty much done with the preparation part. Okay. Uh, and this can sit on the stove. You want this to simmer eh, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Uh, and then you can either eat it right away. Or I actually prefer to take it and cool it down, put it in the fridge, and let it sit overnight, and yeah. then heat it up again the next day. Because Super all those, flavor. yeah, all those yeah. flavors kind of meld, and it's got a much richer, deeper uh, texture to it when, you, when you're going to go ahead and eat it. Okay. Um, and then when you're done with that, all you're going to do is you're going to take a scoop out, and you're going to put it into your bowl like I've done for you over here, mm -hmm. and we put Look some Swiss that. cheese on top, and uh, we've got our croutons right here, and our croutons here, uh, we have a baker on site that actually bakes our own bread. Uh, we just slice it out thin and take a cookie cutter and cut out different shapes. Oh, um, and we've got okay, round ones that. here and a little bit of olive oil and seasonings, so, and away you go. So you put the French onion soup in, then you put a, a slice of Swiss cheese. No, you actually put the crouton in oh, the next crouton because the crouton is going to help Hold keep that up. cheese Soak flowing. up the, the liquid, then mm -hmm. you put on the cheese and then the, um, the onions on top. I've got deep fried onions on top. The fried yes. onions on top. Mm. And you can actually put uh, like Parmesan cheese on top if you like, or a little bit of Asiago. Oh my gosh, it's um, so good. And normally, again, we would put mm. that into an oven. I couldn't fit the oven in my car today, so I left that at the <laughs> restaurant. Um, so, uh, but normally, just under like a broiler? Yep, just put it underneath the broiler for just a couple minutes, just to make it kind of get bubbly and a little brown on top. I can taste the uh, sweetness. Mm. And that's... And that's just it. You just want a little so bit. You just want a little bit of that. Uh, and again, you can use mm, brown really sugar too. I mean, there's a lot of different variations that you can throw into a French onion soup. 
so you can kind of adjust it to suit your own taste. Talk about some really of the nice. shopping that you can do because you brought some really cute items. I can see you're getting ready for Easter and That's doing things exactly like that. That's exactly right, yes. You've got great shopping there at the Machine Shack. We've got all kinds of different things from clothing and we've got different kitchen utensils and you can see, I mean, jean jackets and Follow obviously it must be a really cool chocolate. popular thing to wear because <laughs> yeah. Molly's got one on today. So yeah, I like that one. It's um, got some bling in the your collar new one. and down below. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get all the way down to the bottom here. I don't know if you can see some of this bling. That's there you really go. cool. And some bird houses. I love seeing signs of spring. Follow the bunny. He has the chocolate. That's a great <laughs> sign. So true, too. And people can do that before they eat or after. Um, and great gifts for every season, too. That's exactly right. We come up with new, new things all the time. So if you didn't see it this week, ask because it may be coming next week. Is the French mm. onion soup on the menu? It is. Awesome. It is. You can get it's French delicious. Onion soup, so good. Lunch or dinner, any or anytime, pretty much. And we also use that for catering as well. So it's awesome. The best. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Kurt. It's delicious. Here's how you can visit the Machine Shed, their gift shop, and have some French onion soup on a cold day. They have locations in Pewaukee and Appleton. The addresses are there on your screen. You can call the numbers there, too, to book large parties. You do catering um, and a lot of things to accommodate bigger groups, big and small groups. MachineShed.com is the website to visit. It's good stuff. So good. Yummy. Thank you.